Here we have a story of two individuals who have been victims of quite unfortunate circumstances. And now they're in a situation whereby one might go and benefit case chiefs and one might go and really not do much, I guess. So who are those players? Well, let's talk about them. Hello and welcome to Coast Nation Fan TV. I am Pelo, I am your host, and this, this is where fans meet and talk about Kaiser Chiefs. I'm a football club. Starting with the center pack, which is Unjabulo Ngobo. The Southern have reported that Kaiser Chiefs are opting against renewing his contract when it comes to the end of the season. I mean, we kind of have all seen this coming. We've seen how Unjabulo Ngobo has just been put aside. Even at times when he's been doing well, it's strange to me because you look at who giving him some He was kind of off form like sometime in the season and then he got dropped. But Ngobo came in and he took over and he played quite well. But then out of nowhere, Unkosin Unjablo Ngobo was out of the team again and giving him Simango was back in. Don't get me wrong, I still do think giving him Simango is a better player. But all the time, if you look, almost every time, Unjabulo Ngobo is going to sit on the bench for anyone else. Like take, for example, even last year, Chiefs opted to play Udove as a left center back with Ukunika or with Ungezana last season. While Ungobo was there, they were changing and making everyone there play in that position except for him. And obviously, some people will say, oh, but Tutuov was played there because it's, it's better to receive as a, as a left back or as a center back who's left footed because there's a, you're not wasting time. You know, the whole thing of you need balance in your center back pairing. But that's not really a train smash if that's not the case because you have players like Virgil van Dijk and Konate Liverpool. Konate play on the right side of the center back position. And then Ngobo plays, and then Van Dijk plays on the left side. They always cut in and play diagonal passes, and Ngobo is very good at playing those diagonal passes. But it seems like they never try to make him fit in the system, but they were always looking for other alternatives. But then I have a question for you: Do you think that Ngobo has to go now? Because even if you look at the players that Chief says, the clock is gonna come back from injury. Udove is already playing as a, as a left center back. They also signed to look flus. Do you think there's any chance of Unjablo Ngobo actually ever making it as a starter again for Kiza Chiefs? Let me know down in the comment section. Now, I was talking about other people who have kind of dropped to the bench. This one is a strange one, but, well, we've seen stranger things. And also, because it's coming from Latuma, don't trust it, but it's out there, so might as well talk about it. They are saying that Zamalek want to sign Edson Castillo. I mean, if there is anyone who wants to sign Edson Castillo from anywhere, then I would say, yeah, it makes sense. But the problem is now the guy is now being benched by Chiefs, and I would see why he would also want to leave if there was an opportunity for him to leave the team. Because to me, I'm not saying Mart is insultingly bad that Castillo would feel bad by being benched by the likes of him. But I'm saying that after his goal contributions, he look at that, he looks at that as a midfielder and thinks, you know what, I'm being disrespected here. I might as well move to another country where they will appreciate me. But that's not the twist. Because <laughs> Ula Duma, they are reporting or they are reporting that Chiefs are asking for forty million to sell U Castillo if Zamalek were really serious. It makes me ask this question. So what if that was the case? What if this was not a lie, right? What if this was not a lie? Would you let a player like Edson Castillo go to Zamalek or anywhere at this point? Because there's also this thing that people have been complaining about with Unkosing Pilengobo or Uplomu. I mean Uplom mainly because we sold him and people were like, we're still building. Why are you selling Uplom? I was okay with that. Actually, I was happy for Uplom because if one of our own goes abroad, then that means the footprint of South African football, we are reaching uh, different countries and that's always good because there's someone representing us and they also feathering their careers. And also development from Kaiser Chiefs ending up playing in the Champions League at some point. Hopefully, 
he does better and ends up earning a move to Europe. It's always good. However, there are some people who don't like that strategy. There are also people who haven't liked the video, but they've watched it to this point. So what are you waiting for? Do like the video, subscribe to the channel. So that's my question to you. Do you think, if this was true, right? We know that 90% is probably a lie because it's Latuma. So if this was true, would you say, Chiefs, yeah, sell him for 40 million? Or would you hold on to all your best players you have right now? Do let me know down in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching. And until next time, remember, equals Alpelumoya.